Okay, so I was gonna say Scorpius. You might be dealing with a Scorpio, but Aquarius, Aquarius, Aquarius. When you look under this video, you're gonna see two videos that I posted for you. Um, and it's just this one shut down again. My phone is fine. I checked everything. There's something going on with Aquarius here. Maybe somebody's throwing evil eye at you. Maybe somebody's doing trying to stop you from moving forward or whatever it is. It could be this X here that I'm seeing that is very malicious. We're gonna we're gonna confirm that. Because I've never had a reading shut on me down three times, and I'm gonna post all three. Because I feel like no matter what I've said in the first one and the second one, um, that is maybe this one. Um and I'm going to continue this one, so it's going to be, this is might be the third one. I have to continue the readings because there's messages here that want to be said, but something is telling me that someone here that is very, very evil is throwing a lot of evil eye at you where they don't want you to move on, they don't want you to be happy, they don't want you to move forward. So, we are going to interrupt that motherfucker, and we're going to keep on doing the reading, okay? So, don't let that discourage you. It's not going to discourage me. They're not going to fuck with my energy, and I'm going to continue this reading. Like I said, you have a big love here coming in, and it could be from a past life here. And I remembered it because I just had to go back to the video and see the ending of it because I don't remember the half of the shit that I say. But there is something very beautiful here for you. A very beautiful connection here. And this is somebody from the, your past life. And I am sure of it because I'm feeling it in my bones, in my heart, in my soul. There is somebody from your past life. If you are married, if you are dealing with somebody, if you had a breakup with somebody, if you are dealing with somebody here that you know you know is a connection that you cannot get away from this is something from your past life that you have to finish something here and most definitely you walked away from somebody here or you're looking away just looking or thinking maybe about what's going on here because it's been so confusing with your readings getting cut off so somebody trying to be accountable could be this person that they might have dreams or you might have dreams with a person here that they're trying to be accountable from the past. Okay? It doesn't have to be for every Aquarius, your past life. But there's somebody that's trying to be accountable here. But there is a, a path. I love this reading. I just love the energy that I'm picking off of this. It's like you loved each other so much. You gave so much, each other so much confidence. You were the perfect couple. It, it's like... Uh, a love that I feel like it's going to be for all eternity. And, and I feel like you've had a lot of past lives with this person. If this is not for you, if you don't feel like there's a past life connection, you are meeting somebody here in some type of event, maybe in the holidays, I don't know. Um, but you're going to meet somebody that's going to make you very happy. And they're going to love you. And you're going to love them. Let me see. I love this reading here. Let me see. Let's not interrupt the chorus no more, motherfuckers. Because I'm not going to let you with your envious as let me see they might show up in the reading so let's see me what else is here for aquarius <laughs> my neighbor is laughing in the back like see a balance like a castle yeah that's exactly what we're gonna do keep on going and I, no, yeah listen somebody here is looking far away to the ocean there's a, a beautiful lighting a circle here it looks like a portal you know, the sun's number. It looks like a portal here. So it is indicating to me. It's more confirmation for me that this is a past life connection. Somebody's thinking very hard here. It could be a Virgo here that you're dealing with. But there's something here that's indicating to me. You know something here. It has to do with you and this person. There's a very, 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 very special love here with you and this person. A beautiful love here with this person somebody might just want to end something here for some of you of course is here that somebody did you wrong but there's so much love here and so much um mutual love here but for some of your choruses you're jumping the leap of faith you're moving on you're doing your thing you're going out maybe you're just doing yourself at home it doesn't matter it doesn't have to be but you are going to get invited to something a party a birthday party whatever it is there is going to be a lot of things going on there are a lot of people you might meet somebody kick it off it could just end up into a friendship but you are in your fire energy here you're showing so much fire it's like right now you're fierce and nothing is going to stop that. And I'm going to say it again. Nothing is going to stop that. If I have to post these three videos, it's going to be one video that I thought was not even recording. And it was. 
I just checked it. But it showed it wasn't recording on my camera. It showed it wasn't even pressed. So that is weird. And um, then this one, um, it just cut off. So it's showing me that something's interrupting the reading. And I already know what it is. So you can go and kick, you know, swerve down that, that, that fucking curve. And be careful you don't hit something with that evil eye and all that fucking witchcraft you want to send to Aquarius. Because they're moving forward and they're having a good life. Or they're going to have a good life and you envious as fuck. Like, whoever this is, is a person you were dealing with. Or they're dealing with somebody and that person can't stand you. Because there's something that's telling me that this person you were dealing with in the past or something here about somebody said your name so many times or talked about you so many times that that person don't like you because they said your your name so many times somebody who has your name in your mouth is because they still care for you they still love you and somebody else is hating you for this person putting your name too many times in their ear you feel me so you know this person's ridiculous like how the fuck this queen of wands show me this queen of wands minera yeah, three could be significant here for you. Yeah, this person's in balance. This person, you know, has no say-so in anything here. The Queen of Swords in reverse. They have no say-so. They have no balance in their life. They have no patience is what I'm hearing here. You know, they jumped a leap of faith to somebody else here. And, you know, it all went wrong. They might be dealing with somebody here that's fucking them over now. And they're looking at you look going forward and doing yourself no matter if you're single, if you don't want a commitment, no matter if this is not for you and you're just giving love to yourself this could be you giving love to yourself and doing yourself buying yourself things things you couldn't do before whatever it means for you but they're like very envious of you and they have no patience they have no stability they're very imbalanced and they have no say so in anything here anymore so they can you know i was gonna say something i don't want to say but i'm getting mad because this motherfucker like they try to interrupt my reading and it's not gonna happen why is the um the full card here. Well, you got the judgment card here. So there is something that your spiritual guys are leading the way. They're leading the way for you to keep on going. You got the fire energy going on. You know, you might be dealing with another area. There's a lot, there's a lot of fire here. So you might have fire in your chart. You might be dealing with a fire sign. You got a lot of water. Cancer, Scorpio, and uh, Pisces. I'm not going to be saying too many signs. Um, there is something here that... Um, your guides are trying to show you there is um something here where it's showing me that the judgment that you've got your guides are taking care of that so there's something going on here with your guides that might be punishing somebody here my ear is ringing here why is the full card here that is a confirmation somebody's getting punished here for what they've done to you here and you're just gonna live your best life yeah, you're working on a lot of things here um, with the Eight of Pentacles. You might be a hard worker. You might be just be struggling a lot at work, and you might just be getting tired. But some, spend some time for yourself, okay? Because Spirit is saying you're going to move forward. You know, you got the <laughs> you got the Wheel of Fortune about on my deck. You are going to move forward, and this is about karma, too. So whoever, you're going to move forward, and whoever the fuck this is is going to get karma. You know, you got justice here in your favor, and there was a lot of drama. Or there is drama in your energy, and this is just a reading that's going to happen for you, and, you know, the next time you see it. I don't know. Maybe you want to watch it three months from now, or maybe next month, and this is all happening. But there is balancing coming into your life here, and I feel like you're working very hard here. Or somebody's working very really hard here. Let me see. Why is the four of wands here for Aquarius? Okay, so you got here the eight of cups. Walking away from something here. You might be walking away from a job here. You might be walking away or um, spirit wants you to walk away here from something here. And it has to do with a job or something you're working on. Or it could be that you have a um, like a second job or something. But Spirit is telling you walk away from this. So if you're having trouble at work or having trouble with somebody in your job or whatever it is, try to look for a new job or you might be looking for a job. But you're going to walk away from a situation here that is no longer serving you. There's a lot of judgment, a lot of envy, a lot of evil eye, a lot of wishing you bad because they know what's coming. And this could be a person that knows or picks up intuitions or whatever it is but it's like they see a different glow in you it's like they're seeing something different in you you might just be walking alone right now or being single whatever it is and just loving yourself 
and this person is working very hard to make it um, better for you. And it's unfortunately I say that because I'm picking it up, but it's fucked up that we have to deal with people like this every motherfucking day of our lives instead of just like leaving everybody alone and minding your own fucking business and mind your own people on this isn't to everybody's motherfucking business. Somebody here knows about somebody here doing something at work or having sex with somebody at work or meeting somebody from work. They're not supposed to be doing that or they did it in their job. And somebody here is ready to uh, jump out and say it or somebody's going to walk away here. But be careful with your job when it comes to your job, whatever it is. But you most definitely walked away from somebody here. That everything was you, you, you. And they were just doing whatever the fuck they wanted. That's why Spirit is saying, you know, your guides are with you here. It's been three readings. Well, this is going to be the third from one. But this is like, they were trying to stop me here from not giving you messages. And you're not, now you got more. So you know what? Sp say thank you to those fucking people that are envious and that are sending you an evil eye. Because now you got uh, two messages that you need to hear. And that's more better for you. Let me see. Why is this two of cups here for Aquarius? Why is this two of cups here? Something's gonna be secretly. Maybe you need to keep this relationship in secret. Okay, you got the Queen of Wands in the bottom of the deck here. Because there's somebody here that doesn't want to see you happy, doesn't want to see you commit, doesn't want to see you love somebody. This could be somebody here that somebody was dealing with in the past, or they jumped over to somebody else when you left their ass, or they're dealing with somebody else, or it's whatever, aside, whatever the fuck it is. And I'm gonna confirm that right now. Because I'm getting mad here with this person. Who is this person here? Doesn't That hater wanted to come out. That's interrupting the reading. Show me this person or what they're feeding. Mineta. Private relationship. So somebody here was having a private relationship with somebody. I can't make shit up. And whoever this was, that they were keeping very secretly with this moon card. The moon card is all about hiding secrets. That everything comes out to light. Somebody was hiding something with somebody. And I feel like whoever it is, it could be your person, your ex-person, whoever this is. It could be a third party here. Like this Queen of Wands showing herself, you know, that is throwing this evil eye at you. A recording, announcement, expression, revealing. So something here, they know something about somebody here. Or you know something about somebody here where they're going to reveal it. Let them reveal it. Who gives a fuck? Why is this um, King of Swords here? Because not every Aquarius is going to hit this past life connection. I wish everybody does because it is beautiful here. But let me see. Why is this King of Swords here? Whatever this is, man, they love you. Whether it's a male or a female, they're ready to fight for you. Like They'll fight for you to the very end. No matter what happens, what obstacles this gets in the way. It might be... I'm picking up like an energy for Aquarius that it might be too strong for you to deal with with a person here and you're just going to walk away um, this person there could be some Aquarius here that have a connection with somebody here and they found out something about a person here that was dealing with somebody with somebody else and you're walking away or you walked away from this and you probably did it publicly or let everybody know about this you didn't shut your mouth it's like it was known publicly and everybody's talking about it. I don't know why I'm picking that up, but let's see. Yeah, celebrations here. So again, you got the four of wands here and you got the four of wands here with the moon card and the two of cups. So you're going to meet somebody here and it probably will be a private relationship where you don't need to let nobody know what the fuck you're doing or who you're dealing with because you got a lot, you got a lot of eyes on you, man, Aquarius, and you need to let your things be hidden because for some reason you have many eyes on you a lot of envy on you and it could be from a lot of people here and it might just be that you've had it all your life here yeah there is a celebration here that's going to kick off and you're going to meet somebody here that you ain't going to keep your eyes off for you already did why is the ace of cups here for aquarius Mineta, the ace of cups you are loving yourself more let me see it went to the floor. So, okay. So, the six of wands. 
wants to love for us. So this person, whoever you're meeting here, whatever it is for you, family, friends, you know, a commitment, whatever it is. But I feel like it's more of a commitment. It's going to be giving you. They're, they're going to be a giver. You know, a giver. A person that's gonna, you're going to have fun with. A person that you're going to be um, doing spontaneous things with, going out with. I'm telling you, you're going to meet somebody here. And they're going to offer you something off rip. They might just give you, you know, a glass of, of, of a drink. Whatever. They might just do a gesture. They might just grab or maybe open the seat for you. People still do that, people. Um... I don't know. They might just like, you know, do a little something here. They might give you roses. You might just give roses to a guy. It doesn't matter. Listen, I've given roses to guys. Who gives a fuck? Like, but there's going to be a little gesture here where you're going to know. I feel like people here that are in the shadows in the back, I don't know why I'm seeing them so far, like almost transparent. It could be spiritual guys. It could be ancestors. And it could be past loved ones are happy. That this is happening. Because these are the only true friends you got. I'm going to tell you just like that. That's the way that I'm seeing it. This is the only true friends you got. Your guides, your protectors, your spiritual team, your angels, your past loved ones, and God. Whoever you believe in. Those are your true friends. You ain't got no friends here, man. And they're happy for you. Something here is beautiful. It's coming together. And it might have been something that was hid in the dark for a very long time and it's just coming to the light right now there is secrets here for some of your Aquariuses for somebody here that you're walking away from or they walked away and they're dealing with somebody else let me see why is it three of wands here it's been a long road for you Aquarius and I feel like you have every right to be happy and I love this reading for you. This is so beautiful. Why is this three of wands here, Mineira? There it is. You're meant to shine. You are, you know, a person that is gifted from the universe. So something beautiful. You see the stars here. You see, the, you know, the little smoke going up. You know, it's like, um, it's like a twin flame. It's like something beautiful from another universe. Listen, you're dealing with somebody here from a past life. And whoever you meet and you feel this inside your soul, not because you hear the reading. Okay, you know what? They told me that's my past life partner. No. If you feel it, that is somebody you're dealing from a past life. You could be dealing here with um, any water sign. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Aries. Um, Pisces, again. There's a lot of water here. Um, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus, Sagittarius. You got a lot of fire here. Leo, Virgo, Aries again. There's mostly uh, mostly um, fire, earth, and water here. But it could be any sign, people. I don't really go by the signs too much. Let me see. Let me give you a message here from Spirit. What is here for Aquarius? Well, you got three. So three could be significant for you. I don't know if I said it before. But three could be significant. We're going we're gonna to read all three. Let's just see what it says. Protection. Strong protection. Magic for the family and the home. So I cannot make shit up. Somebody's throwing some evil eye. They might be just throwing witchcraft with this moon card here. Okay? Like, they might just be in the dark doing dark magic at you so you don't get to, you know, what you need. And I feel like it's coming from an ex or somebody that's dealing with an ex here. But protection is in your home and within your family. Meaning inside your home, whoever lives in your home, your kids, your husband, your wife, your family, your grandparents, whoever lives with you, it doesn't matter. But protection is needed in the home here. Strongly. Because there is something coming in that might fuck this up. Spirit. Heavenly assistance from your angels and guides. Yeah, you, your, your, your guides, your angels, your spiritual team is with you on this, okay? So don't ignore the signs. You might be getting synchronicity, signs, whatever it is. You might just be hearing things around the house. Let me see. What else you got? I love this reading. Awake. Um, a, oh, A1. Three rays of light. Balancing male and female energies. Peace and harmony. So if you're a male... Balance that female energy you have. You know, we all have it. And if you're a woman like me, like balance that male energy that you have. Because sometimes it tends to go crazy and it could just like 
in different ways of your life just like I, I don't know what to say because this reading is so beautiful and it has me like caught up in my feelings here like my god this is so cute like um you know I'm mostly I'm very feminine y'all can see that I'm very feminine I love my nails you know I just cut my hair I'm letting it grow again so I can have that long curly hair that I have and I'm very feminine but when my male energy comes out people need to move the fuck out of the way because I turn into a full-blown you know dude you feel me like that male energy comes in and there's no dude that can stand in front of me and this is what I'm trying to say balance that out so everything could be balanced out and beautiful you are going to receive a gift from the universe here and i want i want to confirm that um this little private relationship here Mineira, can you confirm that private relationship for me here with one of these cards who is this person addiction so somebody here had an addiction. They were codependent. They were they're obsessed with you. A lot of possession, a lot of control, like emotional block. This person, this person that is sending you evil eye. Whoever it is, your ex, whoever it is, a person that want you to move on and be happy. It is a person that was codependent on you, but they're also very obsessive. They might have been emotionally um vi uh, I'm, I'm gonna say domestic violence or emotionally fit. Uh, I wasn't. This, damn, it's so confusing. This person's confusing. They're all fucked up. They have an emotional block. They might just have an emotional block right now and they're getting a spiritual war because of this. But it's a person that was very controlling, very possessive, very obsessed with you. And they were also codependent on you. So they might have been a person... Yeah, this is a motherfucker. A, a whole controlling ass motherfucker. You know, they were dealing with somebody else or they're dealing with somebody else now. But, you know, they might have had addictions too. They're envying you. Whoever this is, this person that they're dealing with is a toxic person. And they just don't want you to move on. But don't worry about that because they're being charmed and used right now. Like, if you haven't seen it, you're going to see it. Because they're being used right now. And they're going to end up really, really bad with this person. They might be doing drugs with somebody else here. And I don't want to say that because reading is so beautiful. But I don't know why I'm hearing Felix um, is coming to my head. The name Felix. So that could be a significant name for you. Or an animal, whatever it is for you. But Felix just came to my head. The name Felix. I don't know why that came to my head. But it's a confirmation for somebody. But I love you. Wish you the best of luck. And I'll see you later, my loves.